now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. A 75 degree air temperature, a dew point of 75, 100% relative humidity. It feels sticky out there, but the winds aren't too bad. East northeast coming in at about 7. We do have some stronger winds aloft and it's bringing some storms our way by the lunchtime hour. By then we'll have about a 30% chance of rainfall. As we head into the uh, later afternoon, our rain chance spikes up to about 70%. Fast moving storms dropping lots of rainfall could be potentially heavy rainfall leading to some temporary ponding on some roadways possibly. The good news is Becky Mayaka phoned in and she's gone two days without any rainfall at her house. I went one day over the weekend without any rainfall at our house. So there was a little brief window there where we got to dry out some and some of the area rivers got to discharge some of the water into the Gulf. So we're looking at potentially a slightly better situation than we were on Friday in terms of uh, today's potentially heavy rainfall. We'll see how it plays out though, but the rainfall threat continues on into the evening and in addition to the chance of some heavy downpours of rain. There's also the possibility with these fast moving storms around uh, tropical circulations that we could see a brief spin up of a tornado or water spout out in the Gulf. So we'll watch for that as well. It would be a weak tornado, it would be short lived, and the threat is mostly for areas of South Florida. So you can see around the circulation, the broad circulation, ill-defined circulation of this system, showers coming at us from the north and from the uh, east. Some of these showers producing some fairly heavy rainfall in South Florida right now, where, by the way, there is a flood watch up. If you look at the projections for rainfall, it's certainly South Florida that has the biggest risk of any kind of flooding rain. They could get four or five inch rainfalls there. I think in our area, we'll probably see more like anywhere between half inch rainfalls to maybe inch and a half rainfalls in locations. Some of the area rivers are still at bank full and will remain there through the week. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, especially areas like uh, uh, Peace River and uh, Mayaka River, Manatee River. Potential cyclone number seven, 30 mile an hour winds currently forecast to move into the open waters of uh, the Gulf, possibly becoming a tropical storm Gordon as early as uh, early morning tomorrow, about two in the morning, and then head off toward Louisiana Delta region. <coughs> it is not going to directly impact the state of Florida with tropical storm force winds and there are no tropical storm uh, watches or warnings up for our area. But we will see some good rainfall around. That's mainly the effect of this storm system is some enhanced rainfall chances. Yeah, we could see, as I mentioned, some pretty good downpours of rain as these storms move across the area. The good news is they're fast moving storms. So the total amount of rainfall perhaps not that great, just torrential downpours, down blast bursts of rainfall possible <clears throat> in the afternoon. So a few scattered showers around lingering into tomorrow actually, and then things start to lighten up quite a bit. But there will be uh, potential for some pretty good downpours. As I mentioned, pockets is what we will see of those heavy downpours of rain. Otherwise, the heaviest of the rain located well down to the south. So we're looking at a bad boating day, no doubt about that. Uh, we're looking at choppy conditions out there, east wind coming in at about 20 on our area waters, so not good, and gusts even higher than that. Best to stay in port. First alert weather day because of those storms that we might see a little bit later on this afternoon. Tomorrow about an 80% chance, and then we'll trend those rain chances down as we head into the remainder of the week, returning to more average summertime weather with daytime highs in the low 90s and rain chances at 50%.